In just a moment, I'm going to show you footage of an inmate that was taken by other inmates in prison, which is apparently the last video ever recorded of this inmate just moments before he was allegedly shanked to death in prison because of his charges. First, a little context. This is 24-year-old Trevor Lee Morris, and he was charged in 2019 for over 22 counts of a felony charge. That charge, exploitation of a minor in the first, second, and third degree. He was later found guilty of these and sentenced to prison time in the South Carolina Department of Corrections. You'll see him wearing the SCDC uniform in his video. That's one of the first things that stood out to me when I saw this footage, because most of you know, I myself have spent quite a bit of time in the South Carolina Department of Corrections also. And so it's, you know, knowing what I know, it's, it's no surprise to me that the other inmates took no time at all figuring out what Trevor Lee Morris was in prison for. And once they did, this happened. Dude, just chill. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little girl, little boy. No. What a little? What's your name? It was a little girl, What's little your boy. name? Give your full name. What's your name? Oh, you you see, they're looking at me, stupid. Hey, hey, chill. What's, chill. what's your name? Is? A little boy, a little girl. A little boy, a little girl. What a I don't want to talk. Quit. What a word. A body trading video. You were going for a bitch. You weird. Boy, you was a weirdo. No, it's not like that. Before I get back to the timeline of events here, the first thing that popped in my head when I saw this clip was, dang. David Dobrik has really went downhill. Uh, but seriously, it, it, I posted a clip about this with a little bit of commentary about a week ago on my TikTok. It got almost 5 million views, and the comment section was actually pretty divided. Uh, half the people were like, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you deserve, understandably. And then the other half, actually, you know, they were kind of like, listen, I know what he did. It's awful. He's awful for that, but I still can't help but feel bad for this guy when I watch this video. So that was a surprise to me. Uh, but no matter what side of the fence of opinions, you know, you fall on, Hey, I'll leave that to you to decide. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. But back to what happened after this video, of course, it was leaked somewhere, somehow, and it ended up on the internet, the World Wide web. TikTok specifically, and it went extremely viral several times across several platforms. And next thing you know, uh, apparently all this information came out that right after this video, he had been assaulted with a, you know, makeshift prison knife by whoever in that cell block. And not only that, he didn't even survive. He didn't make it. He was killed right then and there in prison. And that was that. I mean, this was maybe more than a year ago that this whole thing went viral. And the last thing anybody ever heard was, this guy is psh, no more, ceases to exist. Now, I know I'm a little late to the party finding this, but I wanted to verify that. And I went to Google and I searched the articles and saw all the reports. When you do search these up, there's no shortage of reports talking about how, yes, it's exactly what happened. This clip was taken, it went viral. And then shortly after that, he was shanked and, uh, that's the end of the road for him. But something about these articles when I was reading them didn't sit right. Number one, not a single one of these articles are, are, are from a website that's like a reputable news source. I know that's a, you know, what news source is reputable these days, but you know what I mean? I mean, these are janky little weird unsecure sites I've never even heard of. And then you read the article and I, I mean, every other word is misspelled and just the sentences are just a little, you know, it's like chat GPT wrote these reports, you know, it doesn't exactly exude professionalism. All right. So something didn't sit right with me and wasn't getting the evidence, you know, the, the, the solid evidence that I needed to really feel sure that that's what happened and that he is no more and that he definitely got assaulted with a knife and, and, you know, that's that. So I did a little research of my own and I was pretty surprised at what I found. And you all, especially if you have heard of this, and you do remember when this went viral, and last you heard, and as far as you know, he is gone. I think you will be surprised by what I found. Absolutely nothing. But my girlfriend found something very interesting. Side note, 
never underestimate the investigative skills of a girlfriend, fellas. See, I myself knew that if you go to the SC Prison website, they do have a search engine feature uh, to look up inmates who are currently incarcerated in SCDC. Uh, and I tried that, couldn't find him anywhere. But of course, if something had happened to him, then, you know, he wouldn't show up in there anyways. So I didn't know what to think of it. But I didn't know <laughs> that they had a search engine feature for inmates who have recently been released. But Ariel found out. When she found that out, she put in his name and she put in the county that he would be released to. We knew the county from the reports of when he first got arrested. And here he is. There he is, popped right up, Trevor Lee Morris. He was released on December 1st of 2023, not even two weeks ago. He is alive and well, maybe a couple bumps and bruises on him, but nevertheless, he is free out here right now in the same county of South Carolina that I am. So who knows? Maybe I'll run into him myself. But um, there's that debunked. Nothing ever really happened to the guy. If it did happen to him, it hadn't hadn't stopped him any. He's out here. He's living his life. How do you feel about that? Let me know in the comments. Also, uh, what do you think of this whole thing? Do you think he should be out right now considering his charges? Um, are you glad nothing happened to him? Did he deserve to have something happen to him? Do you wish, you know, all the rumors that went around on TikTok and all that had been true? Hope you enjoyed the video. And I did just want to, you know, go ahead and put this information out there and set the record straight. Thanks for watching.